Welcome back to D-Lab, everybody. I'm still working on the ugly Johnson Viking transmitter. If you recall, in part two, I had repaired the high voltage. It transmitted, but it had no modulation, and that was determined to be a defective preamp section. Still had all the old crusty caps and resistors, so I'm going to strip all that out, rebuild it, and we're going to give her a live test using the stock Stancor transformer, then I'm going to put in the Hammond interstage transformer and let's see what the audio difference is between stock versus the Hammond. I've got the front panel pulled off of the old ugly Viking 2 and installed the four pin mic connector that the customer requested. This hole in the chassis has been opened up so that the terminals poke through and can be soldered to. So the next step will be to gut out all the components in the preamp area. So all these old caps, resistors, I pull it all out and rebuild it the way it was at the factory. Since I pulled the front panel, I lost the support for this side of the cabinet. So I always take a 2x4 and insert a block in there to support the chassis while I'm working on it. Okay, so the audio section is repaired and we have the push to talk module installed with a four pin mic jack. We're going to do our first test using the stock Stancor interstage transformer. Then I'm going to swap it out with a Hammond 124B and we're going to repeat the test. All right, so I've installed all the new audio components in the preamp section of the Viking 2. So we're going to do my little test with her out of the chassis. I've got a leader audio generator. And we're going to look at that signal with a scope. Remember, I do not have to transmit for this to work. We're just going to look at the audio going direct to the grid of the 807. If you remember in part two, I only had about 100 millivolts. Now, my scope is actually at the 10 volt per division scale. Look at the amplitude now like megatons of drive. So you know what's going to happen when those grids of the 807 see that? Yeah, it's going to modulate. All right, here we go. Initial modulation test of the ugly Viking 2 after the audio preamp section has been repaired. The radio still has the stock interstage transformer. I believe it was made by Stancor back in the day. So at this point, this is stock Viking audio. I'm monitoring on a national 183D receiver and we're transmitting into a dummy load. So here we go. So here's the stock audio from the Johnson Viking 2. Hello. Hello, one, two, three, four. <whistles> Plenty of forward modulation. Crystal clear stock audio from the Johnson Viking 2. So at this point, we're going to stop and install the Hammond 124B interstage transformer and we'll do the audio test again. All right, here we go. Same test. I just completed installation of the Hammond 124B interstage transformer. No other components or adjustments have been made. Still monitoring on the National 183D. Here we go. Hello, one, two. Hello, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. So as you can tell, there's a much bassier response to my voice. That's what the Hammond 124B does, because the 124B is out of an audio amplifier, like home audio, whereas the Stancor transformer was more of a communication grade type transformer that Johnson used back in the day. So with this transformer you'll get better bass response. If you put a processor ahead of it, you should be able to adjust that and get some really great audio on the air. Alright, well there you go. That was the initial modulation test of the Viking with the stock Stancor audio interstage transformer. And then you got to hear it with a Hammond 124B installed. So now you know what to expect if you decide to swap out your Stancor 
with a Hammond. It's not a one-for-one -one trade off. You're going to gain some things, but you're also going to lose some things. If you're a ham and you're looking for communication grade audio, I wouldn't do it. If you want to use this transmitter for other purposes, maybe put a processor ahead of it, then I would. Hope you enjoyed the video.